Hey guys, welcome to Nick Nickum TV. And uh, in case you guys are wondering, who's uh, this person? Well, it's me, Nick, uh, the guy behind this channel. Uh, I've been animating since uh, past year, and it's been a very good ride so far. I love your support, and uh, I can't ask for more. Really, hands down. Whew. Well, that said, uh, this is my first time ever doing a video log, so. You know, and it's also my birthday today, so I decided what better day than today to spend some time with you guys. Uh, <laughs> no really, that wasn't the main reason to do this video log. The main reason to do was I need some feedback from you guys uh, on my thoughts of uh, putting some gameplays on my channel. That's right, you heard it, gameplays. Well, don't be upset now and uh, go crazy yelling around saying no, no, no gameplays. Well, not exactly that I'm thinking of putting gameplays every single day or changing my course from animation to anything else. Don't, uh, don't think that way because that's not what I'm thinking. So let me elaborate on it. What I'm gonna do is, for example, I put an animation today and you guys watch it and I go back to work on the next animation. Which takes me about two or three weeks to finish, or sometimes a month, you know, depending on how many part-time jobs I'm doing and uh, depending upon my time constraint. Which uh, makes sense, you know, because I have to work... Uh, I, but, uh, but I do want to move uh, completely on YouTube for, you know, work-related and everything. I really want to do this full-time, but I'm this close to doing it so you know there will be more content on it so there is a short a long duration between my two animations and there's absolutely nothing going on on my channel in that time so what I thought is just taking that time and putting some gameplays on it because uh, you don't really take some you, you don't really need so much time to record a gameplay and put it which is a fun thing to watch at you know I have fun playing it and you guys have fun watching it too so I would love to do that. So uh, another reason to do gameplays is uh, that I never get to play video games. All the time I'm working and since last year I haven't played Minecraft. Now you guys will be like, hey Nick, how is it possible? Because you are a Minecraft animator and how could you not play Minecraft? Well, you know, as I said before, because of time constraint, I really don't get to play. So what I thought was, you know, I should play and last three weeks uh, I've been playing survival games uh, and mine Z and smash brothers so far only these three like crazy i mean i am addicted to them and they are amazing uh genius you know it's just like oh my god minecraft survival games it's just so much fun i'm sure you've seen me on the hive uh past three weeks i bet it's me nick nickham was playing on there if you have seen me but it's a lot of fun i realized that and uh, I'm addicted, uh, addicted to it, obviously, uh, for several good reasons. First of all is that I've gotten so many ideas from playing those games. And uh, usually I struggle with the ideas, say, oh my god, what's my next animation going to be? So my imagination and Minecraft needs to combine and then, you know, then I settle down with a video that is possible for me alone to animate and do it in the given time constraint. So. When I started playing it, I s came across numerous funny ideas and they are definitely going to go on the channel. So, by putting out gameplays, there I can promise you this, that in no way, shape or form is the animation content on my channel is going to be affected. In fact, I think there will be more animations coming out because of me playing games. I would get more ideas and in turn I will convert them into animations, which is a fun thing to do and I love it. So, uh, said that. I would love your feedback on what my thoughts are on putting in gameplay. So say there's a three week gap between two vid videos, what I'm gonna do is put one gameplay each week, not every day because I don't have time for that, easily said, you know. So I would love your feedback on, on that, you know, you guys can comment below and uh, on Facebook or Twitter, let's get this discussion started, I would love your thoughts. Another reason to do this video log was to answer some of your questions that you guys have been asking repeatedly and like a gazillion times, I guess. That particular question that, what software do I use? Well, I use... Hold on a second. I have somebody to answer that question for you. 
it's an animated character. Well, it might be my new Minecraft skin that I've been using to play a lot. Alright, so take it away! What software I use? Well, I use Autodesk 3ds Max! Max! <laughs> well, that was slightly exaggerated, not too much, but you know, yeah, as I use 3ds Max, as he said, uh, to animate. Uh, I started using it, and I, s I just basically didn't want to move to any other software because uh, I started it and my all assets were created in it, and uh, basically I stuck with it. It's a good software by Autodesk, you know, also Maya is good. I work on both, but I kept Maya for VFX and uh, used 3DX, 3DS Max to animate Minecraft. So I use that and I love it. Also another question was, uh, why do I take so long to upload videos? Again, the same answer because I have time constraint because of the part-time jobs and stuff. Uh, I would although love to be putting out more and more videos and uh, I'm this close to it, honestly. And uh, you know, it's gonna happen soon. So the reason uh, to that it takes long, another reason is just that because it's only me animating it and uh, what I do is I get basically the idea then you know I don't have to storyboard luckily because it's just my idea. I don't have to share it with anybody, it's in my brain so you know I start directly into animation. So before that I have to sometimes create a new character if I need to. Say for example I don't have this character or a mob from Minecraft then I have to create it, uh, model it texture it, rig it, and then test it uh, animation-wise and see how it goes. If it's good, then, you know, I import it in my scene, the scene that I, you know, import from Minecraft or sometimes create it in Max. I use lights to light it, obviously. What am I saying? I use lights, but I'm not a very good lighter, so, you know, it takes me time to <laughs> light the scene. I like to light the scene before I animate, so I know, you know, that the scene looks good enough to tell the story. So I do that and then I import the characters into the scene, I animate according to the story. After that I put those shots to render. At night when I'm sleeping this computer behind me does the rendering job. Sometimes I wake up, render's done, sometimes it's crashed. You know, you have, you have both sides of the coins and sometimes... Uh, nowadays it's not crashing so much so that's a good thing. I get my renders, it's a happy day, and I put those renders into Adobe Premiere. Sometimes I use After Effects to color correct it or put some effects. Otherwise it's uh, Premiere for editing, I love it. And once I don't have to edit so much because all the shots are planned, so I just place it rent, uh, according to the story. And then I do sound editing. After sound editing, you know, it's my favorite part actually because it's happened, it happens so fast and uh, you get to see the short come to life. Then I put soundtrack that is commercial free so that I can upload it on YouTube and that's how you guys see it. And once it's done uploading, I go back to working on another animation and that's why it takes so long. But you know, I'm getting uh, a little good at it and hopefully I'll put more and more animations as fast as I can. So that said, Basically, I wanted to cover this in this video log, and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed a little bit of chat, FaceTime with me. Uh, I would do this sometime, uh, sometimes in, in the future, uh, if I have something to share with you guys. But yeah, basically something about gameplays. Uh, I would love your feedbacks on uh, uh, down below on the comments, and also hit me up on Facebook. Twitter, the links are over here or maybe in the description. Uh, you know, I'll respond to all the logical comments on YouTube down below. Everything, you know, as much as you can shoot at me and as much as possibly I can respond. I will respond to all of them. Uh, hopefully, you know, I would love to hear your thoughts and everything. Thank you so much. It's It's been a great year so far and I hope the next year is fantastic as well. All right. That's all I had to say. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great summer. Goodbye.